today we are on the second day of Careers Hive, and Careers Hive is a project for S2s, um, although S1 to S3 as well, um, and we are aiming to provide some context for young people around what STEM jobs are. There's just such a wide variety of roles and jobs in STEM that we want to make sure that our young people have the greatest opportunity to come and find out more about what could be in the future for them. In order to give them some sort of context about what that means, um, we're trying to investigate a couple of different areas. So the first one is the exhibition, this grand gallery that we're in. And there's 16 different activities here, each manned by volunteers who work in STEM organisations. Another part is our talks programme, so it's the life after leaving schools discussions. So we've got a panel of young professionals who talk about how they got to where they are today and where they might go next in order to get some ideas for the young people about where they might go themselves. And the third part is a bit of a personal reflection part, it's a workshop, to start to interrogate some of these, these ideas about um, what jobs might exist in the future and where my path might lead me if, if I interrogate that enough. It made me think different about like, how science works and stuff like that, because I would never think that VR would have anything to do with science, but it does. I learned that I could to keep my options open for science and like I can do lots of different career paths and I don't need to stick to the same thing. We know the whole area of STEM is very important to the future of the Scottish economy and in terms of the workplace of the future, science subjects and a bit of scientific knowledge or at least some of the appropriate qualifications will open all kinds of doors for you for all kinds of exciting careers. Some students weren't able to understand that actually engineering has a very large creative aspect and that's such an important part of the job. So showing them that through these, you know, these exercises I think is really valuable. Engineering is problem solving and you need creative people to be able to, um, to solve those problems. Just that genuine little spark about something that they think they could do in the future and if today and events like this can lead on to that, that's very much what Edinburgh Science wants to achieve for all the people that we interact with.